This has been a boxing of the Intel Core i7 930 LGA1366 CPU. It's cost me $330, which is about its typical price. You'll find uh, this processor in Australia. As you can see, you can see the standard Intel uh, stock cooler heatsink there. You should not use that. I mean, I mean, I don't know why you buy such a high-end CPU and then just use the stock cool. That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to be using a Corsair H50 with uh, two fans and a push-pull just to get the, those better temperatures when overclocking. Now let's see if we got the, we got the security seal along here. Just to cut through that. There we go. Now, basically, a lot, of, a lot of people don't really know what the difference between the i7-920 and i 30 is. Basically, the i7-920 has maximum multiplier of uh, 20, and the i7-930 has maximum multiplier of 21. Not including turbo mode, because that's when you're running single-threaded applications. Now, we've got the stock cooler here with some thermal compound pre-applied. Pretty basic, pretty you know, standard. The design really hasn't changed since like Pentium 4 back in, back in the day of socket 478. Fan just rotates. Just copper slug in the middle. Just, you know, you, sh you shouldn't, shouldn't be using that. But up here, we've got CPU itself. Got the uh, Intel i7-920, it says Intel i7-930, not 920, uh, Intel Core i7-SLBKB, that's its um, code vendor. There's uh, the difference between the 920s and 930s. There's a C0 stepping, which doesn't overclock as well, produces a little bit more heat apparently. Costa Rica, 2.8 gigahertz. Actually, it's not if you actually do the stock multiplier of 21 with 133 uh, and you got all, all the, the the pads for CPU to go into the socket and we've got the, the user's manual we've got a nice little shiny Core i7 case badge sticker and then just a manual instructions, 3 year limited warranty and for some reason there's a security seal on the manual it's a bit odd don't know why his curious seal on the manual is nothing really of great value in there. Okay. Different, different information, integration, uh, box processor, da 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 da. Install it, installing it, not to touch the pins in the socket, no touch the bottom of the CPU. Take up the retention plate, da 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 da. Storing a stock cooler. You shouldn't follow this at all. Just just don't. Just buy a you know an aftermarket cooler and just get better temperatures, get better better life out of your out of your pocket pocket uh, of of your product and what you've bought and then you get better you know, spend it during your pocket. So that's it, that's the unboxing for the Intel. Core i7 932.8 GHz CPU.